Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's 7 a.m. and a really unnatural time for me to be awake. Just gonna put this out there, but if you vote for me to be king of the world, I'll make it illegal for anyone to be awake before 11 a.m. Anyway, today we have yet another double unboxing. So let's see what we've got. So we've got flying foxes, which are similar to the ones we already have. Uh, you can see that he's a lot darker and he's got like um, copper colour whereas this type is a lot more yellow yet less dark can't really see specifically well in the bag but so I've got two of them Help me hold this. Can you hold it sideways? Um, so these are striped leprinus. Never had these before. Obviously, no colour. Fins are a bit ripped up, but we'll get them in a the tank and get them nice and comfortable. All right. What's up? So you're slipping. Oh. Had banded leprinus before, but never. Oh, that's just empty water. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this box. The next box is from Abyss Aquatic Warehouse in the UK. Nice little note, do you want to read the note there? <clears throat> Hi Marcus. Thank you so much for being such a lovely customer. As I said on the phone, I have no doubts that things will grow properly, but please give me a shout if you have any questions or concerns. Please also find a couple of presents in your box. Our way of saying thanks for being great. Thank God for each. Okay, so they phoned us up yesterday and said that a couple of the fish we'd ordered had some nipped fins, but they didn't feel there was anything to worry about. They asked if I wanted to cancel. I said no. We'll give them a shot. And we'll see how they go. So we've got Pro Aquascape JBL Freebie. <laughs> Tool bag <coughs> and a free towel. Awesome. That's really kind of them. They didn't need to do that. So start. This is a pleco. It's a flash pleco. Should be six of those. Yep. There's another one. As usual, we'll put them in the aquarium and show you how they look at the end. This one is a peppermint blacko. Peppermint bristle nose blacko. There should be six of those as well. Yep, bristle nose. Not sure. Race through a little bit. Bristle nose. Not sure. Bristle nose, pretty sure. Just kind of race through a bit of Oh, so these are uh, reed te tetras. We've never had these and we haven't seen them before in the UK. We wanted them for our community crown because as you can see most of the fish are always down the bottom. We wanted something sort of scolding, uh, scolding, shoaling at the top. So they seemed a bit different. Something. Another peppermint. Another flash. And this should be another peppermint. Yeah, peppermint. Okay, so let's get them in the tanks and show you how they look. Well, I've left it a week, guys, before showing you how they look in the aquarium, mainly because the striped leprinus came in in a pretty bad state, to be honest. You saw them in the bags. They had ripped up fins, no colour, so we wanted to do them justice and give them a week to kind of recuperate. So this is how they're looking now, week I believe it's a week and a half later. Look, look at them colours. These are gorgeous fish. I've never kept these. 
and the flying fox is doing well as well. It's just a stunning fish. I mean, all, all of these are stunning fish. So they'll be going into our main showcase aquarium. Hopefully in another week if they get through quarantine okay. It looks fine so far. We've got a little homemade CO2 system going on there uh, under the aquarium. DIY CO2. We'll see how that goes and uh, do a video about that if it improves our plant growth. <clears throat> and up here we just started a glow light Danio breeding project. Spoiler alert, it's not going well. But we'll make a video about that should we manage to achieve breeding glow like Danios. In with our tiger endlers, we have our flash plecos. We've been a bit naughty here, as in we shouldn't really quarantine fish with other fish that we care about or with other fish in general, and it's definitely not something I'd recommend to anyone to do it's just we have a quite a good relationship with abyss aquatics who we receive these from so we're taking a bit of a risk but it's always a risk and i have lost tanks of fish in the past from doing this but we're a bit low on tank space right now so we've taken the chance but these are probably my favorite plecos after the zebra plecos and they're a lot cheaper these were 20 pounds each whereas the zebra pleco is 120 so they're worth checking out in my opinion probably the nicest pleco after the zebra pleco but not everyone's cup of tea obviously um, so these are going to be rehomed we're escaping a new tank right now 300 liters as Keeping plecos with endlers isn't the best idea as endlers and guppies are quite voracious eaters and I don't feel that plecos will get enough food in with these guys, I mean look at them. As soon as you drop anything in, they're on it. Don't really give the plecos a chance, so. But some 3D backgrounds turn up today, we're looking forward to escaping that tomorrow. So that's the flash plecos. These are the peppermint plecos, LO. 3 one in their temporary home they're doing really well this is a week later they're very similar to the starlight bristlenose pleco l183 they don't seem to have the white edging as juveniles as the starlight bristlenose pleco um, i'm guessing that's the difference between the two we've never kept them but they do seem quite different the peppermint pleco is a lot wider, its head is a lot wider than the uh, Starlight Bristle Nose, at least in our experience so far. Also, uh, according to a YouTube channel we watched the other day, the Starlight Bristle Nose Plecos lose their spots as they mature, whereas the Peppermint Plecos keep their spots, so that's always a good thing. And finally we have our reed tetras down the back at the left. It's not a great shot. I sincerely apologize for that. Uh, we will do a species spotlight on these guys next because we are quite taken with them. They have really nice extended fins, the males anyway. They're like a nicer red light, uh, red light, a nicer red eye tetra. Anyway, so that's our new double unboxing guys we hope you kind of enjoyed the video and we will catch you in the next one thanks for watching as always thanks for watching just a quick extra is it just us guys or does loki do a really good boris johnson impression you got that now dude Definitely. Oof.